Hello, it's Rico Cavellia, America's healthy aging trainer and creator of the Ageless Living Lifestyle. Now, the title of today's wellness training video is Detoxification. Now, this is not one of the most fun topics to talk about, but it's one of the very most important. This is vitally important. If you want to create a long, healthy life, you've got to learn about how to detoxify your body. See, a, a, a detoxification just means eliminating toxins from your body. Now, toxin is a subject is a, is a substance that it doesn't belong in your body. It's foreign to your body. It's usually poisonous. It interrupts uh, our normal metabolic processes, and it can and it, when it stays in your body long enough, it can actually cause disease and cause all kinds of problems in your body. So our body is constantly eliminating toxic substances from our body. But when our bodies become overloaded, then our body cannot function properly, and that's what, how we get sick and actually end up with disease when we get overloaded with toxins, you know. A good example of that is, now is a cold. You know, when we have a cold, what happens? Usually sometimes you have a cough or you have mucus or you have runny nose. And your body's trying to eliminate all this toxic substance that's build, building up in your body. So when you go and take like an over-the-counter uh, drug if for cold medicine, that's totally the wrong thing to do. It's totally counterproductive. That shuts off your, pro your normal body's processes of trying to eliminate the toxins and then it gets stored deeper into your cells and tissues and then later it, when your body cannot no longer get rid of uh, uh, enough toxins your body shuts down and that's how you get sick and, 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 and actually die way before your time so many healthcare practitioners really recommend now and they know that the first line of defense to stay healthy and, and energetic all your life is to detoxify your body on a regular basis usually four times a year. I like to recommend you do it with a change of seasons. That's a really good time to, to go on another detoxification program. And we'll talk about that in just a minute, how to do that. Or, or at least one time a year. Now, also, many doctors and healthcare practitioners will, will say that not only is that that's the best way to prevent disease, but it's also the first line of treatment. Whenever you are really sick and you know something's really wrong, that's the first thing you should do is to detoxify yourself. Have you ever noticed animals like dogs? When they get sick, what do they do? They, they don't eat. They go down, they eat grass, or they eat some kind of greens, or they just take it easy for a while, drink water, and, and do not eat. So we need to take a little, a little lesson from animals. Okay, so, so the question is, are you becoming toxic? Now look, unless you live in a pristine mountain environment, and you grow all your own organic garden, your own organic food, and you're exercising every day a lot, it's highly unlikely, it's highly likely that you are building up toxins. We all are, you know, we live in such a toxic society these days. There's chemicals in the air, we breathe, in the water we drink, in the food that we eat, in our building materials, they're in our home, they're in our car, they're everywhere. So, so some of the biggest signs of a toxic, if you're, if you're becoming toxic are if you have allergies, which so many people do, if you have fatigue, and all these are big things Today in our society, fatigue, if you're overweight or over fat, as I'd like to say, it's not weight, it's about the fat. If you have some skin problems, if you have some digestive problems, and pretty much all the things that are, that are, are chronic things that are, are giving us problems today in our healthcare are a result of toxic buildup in our body, okay? So, some of the real reasons to now, the real reason that you want to detox is for what? It's for energy, which is everything in our life is about creating energy. So you, your body can't be real energetic if you're loaded with toxins and your body's always trying to eliminate toxins instead of producing energy in our body. So think about this. You don't clean uh, just the outside of your car or the outside of your house and not the inside, do you? So why do you just clean the, outs the inside? The why do you just clean the outside of your body? We all take a bath every day, but... How about the inside? You've got to clean the inside of your body as well. There's a, and we know this works. You know how we know this works? There was a famous study that lasted for 35 years, and they took this live chicken heart, and they kept it in a Petri dish in a, in a sterile environment, and they just gave it the, all the nutrients that it needed, and they cleansed it out every day. So the chicken heart got it, all the nutrients that it needed. It got all the waste products taken out of its body. It never got toxic. It lived indefinitely. It lived for 35 years, and it would still be living. But they said, okay, we proved that it, that's what happens. As long as we keep, keep the, uh, a cell gets the nutrients it needs, and it gets the waste products out, it can live indefinitely. So we know that it works. So 
it can, we, it can work for us as well. So the natural cleansing process really, actually 70% of toxins come out when we breathe. Respiration, breathing is the most important thing. So I highly recommend that you, you've got to learn how to do some nice deep abdominal breathing. So let me show you. Basic deep abdominal breathing is just to relax your stomach muscles and breathe in deep. And as you breathe all the way up, you, you fill up your entire lungs. And as you exhale through your lips, as you come back down, you pull your abdominal muscles in and push all that old stale air and all those toxins out. So I highly recommend do like 10 of these in the morning, maybe 10 at noon and 10 of these in the evening. If you'll just do these deep abdominal breathing, you're going to really increase the, uh, the ability to get toxins out of your body just through your respiration. And do some aerobic exercise. That's really the real benefit of aerobic exercise is getting is, is sweating and getting all those toxins out of your body. Now the next thing you need to do besides breathe and move is you've got to eat what I call real food. In fact, my first book right here is called Real Food, Real Fast. And real food is just what's grown in nature. It, it's organic fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and whole grains and some healthy animal products that are raised naturally without any hormones and chemicals. And it, in, in this book, it tells you really about what real food is and where to get it, how to store it, how to prepare it, and actually how to make healthy uh, fast food, how to make healthy meals in 15 minutes or less. So you might want to pick up a copy of this at agelesslivinglifestyle.com. So you've got to eat real food, and I recommend you eat, try and eat 50% raw food. And you've got to really eliminate all these processed foods that come in a package. You've got to eliminate white flours and sugars and, and all these packaged processed foods that have very little food value and are loaded with chemicals and toxic substances and additives and that are genetically modified. And, and so that's a good way to, on a daily basis, how you can help your body to, to eliminate toxins. And of course, drink lots of water. And then here's one of my favorite drinks. This is called Kavita. I drink almost one of these every day. This is a lemon. It says lemon water and with cayenne pepper in it. And it also has some probiotic, uh, healthy bacteria for your colon in here as well. So drink nothing else, just drink some lemon water every day. That'll help to detoxify your body as well. So these are things you can, you can do on a ba regular basis, just daily basis. And you can also drink some detox teas. Now, how to do a safe and effective de de detoxification cleanse. Well, the first thing I want to tell you, though, you really should consult with a healthy healthcare practitioner because it, this can be a dangerous thing, especially if, you have, if you've been living a really unhealthy lifestyle, eating a lot of junk food, not exercising, your body is probably pretty overloaded with toxins. So if you go on any kind of a fast or a cleanse, all these toxins are going to come in, uh, into your system and overload your liver, and you can't get rid of them all. It can make you really sick. So I would say first you better you should you should consult with a with a with a doctor or a healthy healthcare practitioner to make sure that you're you're in good enough shape to begin a, a cleansing program. Now, there's three basic things that you want you want to do when you do a real cleanse. First, you want to clean, cleanse your liver because your liver is the filter of our body. The liver is the main detoxifier of our body. The liver and the kidneys. So it's it's like the filter in your in your car, right? We change the oil, we change the filter in our car. Well, you've got to do the same thing with your body. You've got to, you've got to help your liver out. You've got to cleanse your, your liver out. And there's, there's a lots of different herbal formulas and products that can help to, to cleanse your liver. But what I recommend, too, to get started is real simple. Every evening for about a week, you get a, a, a cup of warm water, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, uh, a half of a lemon, squeeze a half of a lemon and a little cayenne pepper and drink that. And that's a really good liver gallbladder flush. That'll get you started really well. Now the second one you got to do after you get your liver cleaned out first is your bowels. You got to get your bowels cleaned out. If your bowels are plugged up and if you're partially constipated, again, all these, all these toxins cannot come out and they're going to get reabsorbed through your colon back into your system and you're going to get sick again. So you need to do a bowel detox. There, again, there's a ton of herbal forms out there that can help you clean your, your bowels out. Also colonics. I don't know if you heard of colonics, but this is where you go to a a clinic and they actually put water, warm water and some, and some herbs up into your colon and it really pulls out a lot of, a lot of junk and a lot of toxins. So I, I recommend you might want to get a, a, a colon, a, some colonics as well. And then, then once you do that, say once your, your liver is cleaned out and your liver filter is working well and your bowels are working clean, then you can do what's called a systemic 
detoxification. That means you're going to clean out your whole body. And you can do that by fasting, by eating just mostly raw food, and then, and then go on, on some sort of a formula. There's a lot of different ones out there. You need to investigate ways to detoxify yourself with different herbal formulas. We have a very good one at agelesslivinglifestyle.com. It's called the Ageless Living 21 Day Detox. It's a real easy one, really effective one that you can also try. So I, I recommend you check that one out as well. So I, I hope you see that it's so important to keep your body not only clean on the outside, but on the inside as well. That's going to help you to, to prevent getting sick. And also, if you do, if you do have some illness, that's the, that's the first line that you want to approach to give your body, get your body cleaned out so your body can heal itself. So that's all about detoxification. So thanks very much for watching. And always remember, be bold and never be old. <laughs>